वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास थ्री मैथ्स लेसन टू एडिशन सेशन टू पॉइंट फाइव इन दिस सेशन वी विल कवर टू टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट एडिशन विद एक्सपेंडेड फॉर्म एंड सेकेंड एस्टिमेशन एंड राउंडिंग ऑफ एडिशन यूजिंग एक्सपेंडेड फॉर्म इट इज इजियर टू कैलकुलेट द सम मेंटली इफ वी ब्रेक द नंबर्स इन टू हंड्रेड स्टेंस और वंस Now, what I exactly mean by this sentence? Let us see with the help of an example. Add two one seven and one one five. To add this, we can write two hundred and seventeen plus hundred plus fifteen. We have broken up hundred and fifteen as hundred plus fifteen. Now it is easy to add hundred to two hundred and seventeen, so which will give us three hundred and seventeen, and Fifteen can be written as ten plus five. Now we'll add three hundred and seventeen and ten. We will get three twenty-seven plus five. Now when we add this, we get three hundred and thirty-two, which is our answer. So this is how you will do a sum where you have to do addition using expanded form. Let us go to the next topic: estimate and rounding off. supposing we are sitting in an auditorium and we want to know how many students are there in the auditorium supposing there are 398 we can conveniently say there are around 400 students in the auditorium or if there are 502 students you can say there are around 500 students so this is called as rounding off and giving an estimated answer now rounding off can be done to different place values we will start with rounding off to the nearest tens to understand the concept i have explained with the help of number line and a seesaw model you will not be doing like this in your class work copy this is for your understanding let us take an example round off 173 to the nearest tens so now the number line model there is 170 on one extreme and 180 on the other side so these are the limits lower limit and upper limit you can say and now we see where does 173 fall we will divide all the numbers on the number line in two categories one will be from 170 to 174 and the other bracket is from 175 to 180 now whichever bracket the number lies in now our number is 173 it is lying in the first bracket therefore it will round off to 170 why because it is closer to 170 than to 180 had it been lying in the second bracket it would have rounded off to 180 because that way those numbers are closer to 180 now 175 being the center number is equal distance from both corners but the center number is always grouped in the second group that is it is always rounded off to the upper limit had it been 175 it would have rounded off to 180 Now back to our question. Since we have one seventy three and it is closer to one seventy, it will round off to one seventy. Now same example with the help of a seesaw. One seventy at one corner, one seventy five at the center, and one eighty at the other corner. Now one seventy three will lie between one seventy and one seventy five. So the person will come and sit on the left side. And when he sits on the left side, he touches the ground where one seventy is written. so this number will round off to 170 now students let us look at how you will attempt a question of rounding off to the nearest tens in your notebook we have 187 and we have to round it off to nearest tens so we will write the place values on top and when we have to round off to tens we will look at the place which is on the right of tens which is ones and ones place is occupied by the number 7 then we will compare 7 whether it is greater than 5 or less than 5 if it is greater than 5 which is 7 is greater than 5 we will increase the digit at tens place by 1 that means 8 will become 9 had the 7 been less than 5 we would have not increased the digit at tens place and we would have only converted ones place to 0 Now seven is greater than five, so we will increase the tens place by one. Eight will become nine, and ones place we will write zero. So the number will be one ninety. The one ninety is an answer when we round off one eighty seven to the nearest tens. 
now rounding off to the nearest hundreds. So for hundreds, we will look at the place value on the right of it, which is tens. So at tens place, we have four. Four is less than five. Four is less than five, so we will not change the digit at hundreds place. We will only convert tens and ones to zero. So our answer will be nine seven zero zero. Now we will take an example where we will estimate the sum. Example is round off to the nearest hundreds and estimate the sum of four six one and two two three. Now four sixty one. If you see the number line, we have four hundred, four fifty, and five hundred. 461 is lying on the right side. So it will round off to 500 because it is closer to 500. And 223. Now this number is closer to 200. So this will round off to 200. Let us write in the notebook. Therefore, estimated sum of 461 and 223 is equal to 500 plus 200 which is equal to 700. Now example 2. I have taken the same numbers but there is a difference in the example. Let's read. Find the actual sum and round off the numbers to the nearest hundreds and estimate the sum of 461 and 223. For this we have to first find the actual sum. So we will write the numbers one below the other and add them. So when we add we will get the answer as 684. Now we have to round off the digits. And rounding off we have to do to the nearest hundred. So we look at the tens place. Tens place we have 6 in the first number. So 6 is greater than 5. Therefore 461 will become 500. And in the second number in tens place we have 2. 2 is less than 5. So 223 will become 200. So we get 500 plus 200 and when we add it we get 700. And then we'll write the actual sum 684 is quite close to the estimated sum 700. Now students, let us do a worksheet to enhance our understanding. I have shared the answers to this worksheet at the end. But I request you, before you go and see the solution, do solve the worksheet once on your own. In case you miss out something, pause the video, go back, see the question nicely and then once you have attempted everything, only then see the solution. Question 1. Add using expanded form A, 216 and 767, B, 865 and 425, C, 378 and 296. Question 2. Round off to the nearest tens. A, 32, B, 53, C, 185. Question 3. Round off to the nearest hundreds. A. 235. B. 684. C. 3856. Question 4. Find out the estimated sum by rounding off to the nearest tens. Here you don't have to find out the actual sum. You only have to find out the estimated sum. 24 plus 49. B. 87 plus 33. Question 5. Find out the estimated sum by rounding off to the nearest hundreds. A. 232 plus 558. B. 389 plus 451. Now the solutions of this worksheet. I hope you have all paused the video, solved the worksheet and then only you are looking at the solutions. Because that is what is going to help you. The first question was add using expanded form. The first one 216 and 767. So this we will write it as 216 plus 700 plus 67 which will give us 916 plus 67. Again now we will split up 67. So 916 plus 60 plus 7 which will give us 976 plus 7 which is 983. The B part. 865 and 425. This we'll write as 865 plus 400 plus 25, which will give us 1265. And 25 will break up and write 20 plus 5. Next step we will write 1285 plus 5, and finally we get the answer as 1290. C part 378 and 296. We will write it as 378 plus 200 plus 96 which will give us 
फाइव सेवन एट प्लस नाइन्टी प्लस सिक्स नाइन्टी सिक्स इज ब्रोकन एंड रिटर्न एज नाइन्टी प्लस सिक्स विच विल गिव अस सिक्स सिक्स एट प्लस सिक्स एंड दिस फाइनली विल गिव अस द रिजल्ट एज सिक्स सेवन फोर राउंड ऑफ टू द नियरेस्ट टेंस ए पार्ट थर्टी टू इज राउंडेड टू थर्टी बिकॉज टू इज लेस देन फाइव सो थ्री रिमेन्स थ्री नेक्स्ट वन फिफ्टी थ्री इज राउंडेड ऑफ टू फिफ्टी बिकॉज थ्री इज ऑल्सो लेस देन फाइव सी पार्ट वन एटी फाइव ना वन एटी फाइव फाइव इज द सेंटर पॉइंट बट फाइव इज ऑलवेज राउंडेड ऑफ टू द अपर लिमिट सो वी विल गेट वन नाइंटी क्वेश्चन थ्री ए पार्ट राउंडिंग ऑफ टू द नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड टू थ्री फाइव ना टू थर्टी फाइव विल राउंड ऑफ टू द नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड एंड वील गेट टू हंड्रेड Three at the tens place is less than five, so two will remain two, and all the other digits will change to zero. Therefore, we'll have two hundred as the answer. Then six eighty four. Eight is greater than five. Therefore, six eighty four will become seven hundred. C part three eight five six. We will check five. Five is always rounded off to the upper limit. Therefore. The eight at the hundreds place will become nine. The answer will be three nine zero zero. Question four: Find out the estimated sum by rounding off to the nearest tens. A part twenty four plus forty nine. So twenty four plus forty nine will round off to twenty plus fifty. Twenty four will round off to twenty, and forty nine will round off to fifty. An answer we'll get as seventy. B part, eighty-seven plus thirty-three. Eighty-seven will round off to ninety, and thirty-three will round off to thirty. And the answer we'll get as one twenty. Question five: As find out the estimated sum by rounding off to the nearest hundreds. In this question, we have to round off to hundreds. So two thirty-two will round off to two hundred, and six fifty-eight will round off to seven hundred. Answer would be nine hundred. B part. Three eighty nine plus four fifty one. Three eighty nine will round off to four hundred, and four fifty one will round off to five hundred. We will get the answer as nine hundred. Do like the video. Your like on my videos are a big source of motivation. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you are missing out some informative maths videos. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Do check the playlist to complete your entire maths syllabus.